Okay, so one of the reasons um, that we're going to move two meters that way is because, we, as you can see, we're really close to the boundary hedge. Um, this is the part of the house that gives me nightmares. Um, not least the fact because it's so close to the hedge, but because there's a lot going on here as well. Um, excuse the bath, I haven't cleaned it in a while. Um, so, all under here somewhere is my electricity cable and also um, there's a storm drain that runs right the way from way beyond that shed, right the way up the top of the garden as we call it. So, um, the electricity and the electricity and there's this there's this drain as well uh, that run down the back and the whole point of this video obviously we're looking at moving electricity before we did that though i'm going to see if i can show you this but um can you see there's a there's a big um wooden pylon with um, an electricity uh what do you call them not generator substation what do you call transformers there's a big transformer on the pole up there um, and that came across to, there was a pole just here through that hole in the hedge there. Um, and through our next door neighbours who've been absolutely amazing about it, um, and the electricity company, Western Power, who have also been amazing about it, um, they dug a trench and they buried it back to the next pole so that I hadn't got a pole. Because the problem was, the pole wasn't so much of a problem because it was in the field next door, but there were these two giant stays. Can you see that one as well? that we've just cut off there like that that came out of the ground um, which would have got right in the way because this end here will be where the, the new house is and we'll have two lovely French doors or a bifold door or something of that nature and of course you'd have these two great big stays um, stuck out there so they had to go as well so that was the first job we did with electricity and then of course the next job is the one that I'm looking at today which I've been on for a couple of days actually um, is um, getting to move this box onto that pole there basically to get it off the house so we can knock the house down um, but as you can see it wasn't as simple as that because i started to dig up the electric cable uh, and i have to say with the full cooperation and supervision of western power as well don't don't get trying this at home and i have to say again don't this is not a how-to this is just what i did um, this isn't an instruction manual in any way, shape or form. Um, so I kind of started digging up, which is why I got my big steel toe cap boots on, um, and then realised that the downpipes that come off the stormwater, they come all the way down here, they go down into that drain there, and in actual fact, if we go back just quickly, let me just show you this, if we just go back here, when I got these um, these uh, slabs off, there's another one here that kind of runs back. I'm guessing under here somewhere. The only reason I got these tiles up, the call them tiles, these slabs up, uh, was because I needed some slabs for when we built the new gate. So I thought, well, we won't miss them around the back here. Um, so away we went and took those up. So as you can see, these drains come across, and everywhere I was trying to dig a hole to put that post in. Um, I was hitting a bloody drain every time um, and there's also a lot of rubbers, a lot of hardcore in there as well um, they've obviously used the opportunity and they put hardcore in here there's like the whole house bricks and cement and bits of crap and all the rest of it as you can see because um, they wanted to just don't ballast it out by the look of it but so what I've done I've actually so far and I'm hoping this is going to be okay I've so far found the electricity cable and it goes under there now I've had that side up do you think I'm going to find it? So, I don't know, it's the mystery of the cable. We'll get all that up, this will all have to come up. I've got to show you this though, this is incredible. It never ceases to amaze me. This, here. Just wish I could utilise that in some way. That is coming off the field through there. Believe it or not, that's just with the rain that we've had. That's like non-stop all winter. Um, so, like I say, there's a drain down there, which I don't want that to be disturbed because that needs to be in situ as well with the new house uh, is built and up and running. So, the purposes of this part of today, which is about, this is Wednesday and they're coming on Monday um, to uh, move the electric, 
is um, to put that post in which I'm hoping is going to be all right where they can put the, the box on I think they're going to bring another box actually um, and get that sorted out and move the electricity meter and all off the house now I've got my electrician coming Mike as well he's going to sort that out now as I mentioned in no way is this uh, this is how to do it so much so that I feel a little bit of a fraud because I bought some um, quick setting um, cement blue circle stuff uh, I tried to get the cheaper stuff but then sold out so that's uh, it's only about five pound a bag um, and I think it's about a 10 kilogram bag um, which is enough in one bag weighs a bloody ton um, so I got that and basically you just dig the hole um, you fill the hole about a third full of water stick your post in stick the stuff in and then just make sure it's it's in the position that you want it to set in and away it goes and, and jobs are good and is supposedly what happens um, I did this about let me just excuse me a second now I made it a bit too wet by the look of it because I did this uh, about an hour ago it's supposed to go on in 10 minutes um, so hopefully it's going to be set for, for Monday um, when they come otherwise I'm going to I don't know I'm going to do dig it out and start again uh, it's kind of got the consistency of custard at the moment so hopefully that's going to be okay uh, but there, there's the finished product or, well it's not really the finished product but that's kind of like what it would look like the plan is now um, that come Monday um, the my electrician Mike and Western Power or one of his lads and, and Western Power will turn up um, and hopefully they're gonna they can pull the fuse on the transformer and then basically they can pull all this off turn it around and pop it on there and as far as the demolition company are concerned then the power is off the house and they're happy so hopefully we're, we're on track a few days later now then the job's all done um, didn't go quite according to plan as you can imagine but let's go and take a look so when I said didn't quite go to plan uh, not in a bad way not in a um, cause a problem kind of way but just wasn't how we originally intended slightly not much anyway um, as you can see well let me just move back here before I break my neck as you can see that was originally on that space there on the wall and the box is now um, fully up and operational on the new post I just opened that it did make me laugh actually oh he's gone it did make me laugh actually because um, the guy from Western Power they're brilliant actually it's just a team of two and they came in and sorted it all out and uh, he opened the box he said we've got a key and he said oh yeah so he opened the box he said uh, you know you've got a spider living in there mate don't you <laughs> <laughs> I thought they would have been used to that but um, maybe not so um, yeah he was he was a bit upset and a bit worried about the fact that he got a spider living in there so as you can see um, they've taken the cable they, the reason I said it didn't go according to plan there just wasn't enough cable there um, so this is the cable now that runs along and they put a pro joint in it as they do with the guys uh, from Western Power back up to there so that's the power supply in my electrician came along in fact it took him about an hour between them to be honest with you that's how quick and fuss free it was he's put a new earth spike in the ground there just to be on the safe side um, and we've now got the electrics they run down there into the box and uh, inside there is all the stuff um, that feeds the house so come the day of the demolition which we'll probably show you on the day of the demolition the electrician just comes along opens up that box takes the power off um, and as long as they don't sort of dig around there or if they do they do it carefully we'll be fine so that is the electrics all sorted and all ready to go oh just one other thing with this as well you might you couldn't see it from the other side but come around this side and you might think well what i don't i'm not really sure what this is all about here um, and quite simply all that was was the previous occupants of the house decided that they wanted to put a power supply into the garage which is why when i was digging stuff up i don't know if i showed you this on the video earlier when i was digging stuff up i found this pipe um you can see it's got some earth hanging out the back of that and i think the intention was that that kind of went up that way and would feed power to the garage so um although that's marked up on the board the electricians actually checked that and made sure that um 
but that isn't live or anything so that's just like a kind of dead thing that they put on before so that that's nothing to worry about either <laughs> Thank you.